until 1921 AD it was believed that great indian civilizations had flourished and died only in places like egypt and mesopotamia in the winter of 1921 rakhal das benerji an officer of the archaeological survey of india discovered several layers while excavating the ruins of a buddhist stupa of 2nd century ad at a place called mohenjodaro banerji had stumbled upon the remains of the indus valley civilization this discovery pushed back india's history by almost 2000 years taking it to 5000 years before christ the excavations carried out at different sites connected with the indus valley civilization show that the people of the indus valley led a highly advanced urban life the people of mohenjodaro were grouped in four different sections the learned class warriors traders and artisans and manual laborers the food of the people consisted of beef mutton pork poultry turtles and tortoises but wheat was their principal article of food barley and palm date was also familiar fish was commonly used milk was used and vegetables and fruits seem to have been known though there is no positive evidence cotton fabrics were in common use but wool was also used dress was simple men used a shawl which was drawn over the left shoulder and under the right arm so as to leave the right arm free and in the sitting posture came down to the feet it formed the upper garment the lower garment was like a modern dhoti men kept short beards and whiskers and sometimes the upper lip was shaved their hair was combed backwards and was either cut short or coiled in a knot on the top of the head ornaments were worn by both men and women of all classes necklaces fillets armlets finger rings and bangles were worn by both men and women and girdles no studs earrings and anklets by women alone the rich made ornaments of gold silver ivory fans and other semi precious stones the ornaments of the poor were made of copper bone shell and terracotta people knew the art of toilet and cosmetics toys and amusements among amusements marbles and a kind of game played with a market board and dice pieces and dancing to the accomplishment of the drum appear to have been practiced hunting and fishing also formed a favorite sport children's toys were various interesting and ingenious usually they were crude clay models of birds animals whistles rattles men and women there were wheeled carts and chairs household articles the metals known to the people of the indus valley were gold silver copper tin lead and bronze the earthenware vessels of rich variety were made with potter's wheel and were either plain or painted with a slip of red ochre vessels of copper bronze silver and porcelain were known though were very rarely used among other articles of domestic use may be mentioned spindles and spindle holes made of baked earth porcelain and shell needles and combs made of bone or ivory axes chisels saws knives sickles fish hooks and razors made of copper and bronze weights and measures people used a large number of weights they ranged from large ones to be lifted with rope to very small ones used by dwellers cubical weights were most common a bronze bar with suspended copper pans was used as a scale it seems that the decimal system was known to the people of indus valley civilization domestic animals the domesticated animals such as humped bull buffalo sheep pig dog elephant and camel bullocks were used to pull carts medicines the people had some knowledge of medicine cattle bone horns of the deer and antelope coral and leaves of neem tree have been found all these have medicinal qualities weapons of war the people mostly used axes spears daggers maces and slings swords shields helmets or any other defensive weapons are conspicuous by their absence seals more than 550 seals have been discovered they are made of paste stone or stattite of various colors 
these are characterized by fine engravings of animals like bull unicorn elephant antelope or the like the absence of the cow or the horse is significant a sort of pictorial writing is inscribed over it but the writing still remains undeciphered the people were familiar with a pictographic system of writing each sign standing for a particular word or object trade and commerce the small size seals found there were most probably used in connection with trade the people traded with other parts of india as well as countries of asia egypt and crete in exchange they secured tin copper and precious stones art craft and sculpture there were important industrial classes like the potter the carpenter the mason the blacksmith the goldsmith the jeweler the ivory worker and the stone cutter spinning was freely practiced in houses the potter's wheels and kiln burnt bricks indicate the great advancement in technical knowledge people possessed artistic skills of a high order a few stone images found at harappa recall the finish and excellence of greek statues and show a high degree of development in the sculptor's art they were good sculptors the dancing girl this 11 cm high bronze statue of the dancing girl is one of the best examples of the art of indus valley civilization high priest This 19 inch high limestone statue is one of the few surviving stone sculptures of Indus Valley civilization. It probably represents a high priest and gives some idea of the physical appearance of the ancient Indus people. Burial rites. Various burial rites seem to have been in use perhaps by different stocks or tribes. Generally there were three methods of burial complete burial fractional burial and post cremation the ashes were sometimes placed in urns at other times unburned bones were collected and buried in jars religion no temples or shrines have been uncovered it appears that religious worship may have been a household rite One of the main objects of worship of the people was mother goddess. Many figurines of this mother goddess on pottery, seals and amulets have come to light. People believed in a female energy as the source of all creation. Along with this, a male god was also worshiped. Seals depict figures surrounded by wild animals and sitting in an erect meditative posture or the yoga postures. Lord Shiva is regarded as the Mahayogin and is styled Pashupati or the Lord of Beasts his chief attributes being three eyes three netra and the trishul in addition to the worship of Shiva and Shakti people followed animism it means worship of stones trees and animals in the belief that these are a bodies of spirits good or evil the people tree was regarded as sacred destruction of the indus valley civilization once established the indus valley civilization flourished for more than 6 centuries without undergoing any significant change its sudden end is a piece of historical speculation there might have been natural calamities either a flood of the indus or its gradual drifting away from the city might have made the place unfertile there might have been a pandemic or an earthquake which led to the destruction of indus valley civilization there might have been invasion by nomadic tribes some tribes from outside india might have sacked mohenjodaro and destroyed its civilization that is how mohenjodaro is also known as moon of the dead in the sindhi language mohenjodaro means moons of the dead the name has its roots in the fact that sprawling skeletons of men women and children were uncovered in the topmost level of the city the bones bear sword or axe cuts all this suggests that they met a violent death and tell the story of mohenjodaro's end there are various other videos available on indus valley civilization for watching them please check the playlist indus valley civilization If you want to know on any other topic please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe thank you